I'm at Culver's in Jasper, Georgia. So here is my confession. I'm not expecting a reaction. But if this is how it's gonna be. Hi, thank you for doing Culver's or sleep the day's turtle. What can I get made fresh for? Two pretzel hospa burgers and a large diet Pepsi. A large fry? Uh no, Pepsi. Large Pepsi, I'm sorry. Did you want those Pup House burgers singles or doubles? Both doubles. Alright, that'll be sixteen forty five at the window. Alright, thank you very much. Each one cost six dollars and thirty nine cents and I paid about two and a half bucks for the large diet Pepsi. Anyway, she's gonna get me my Pepsi and I'm gonna go over in the waiting queue. And if you notice today, we're gonna be eating in the car in our mobile laboratory of Joe is Hungry because I want these things fresh. We've got our food. We're ready to go. Let's get down and take this apart. Today, we're gonna try out the pretzel burger. All these fast food places have come out with the pretzel burger buns for all their stuff. You got Burger King, you got Arby's. This is not a new item for them, but it is a limited time offer. Their sandwich comes with two kinds of Wisconsin cheese. It has the cheese slices and it has some liquid cheese they put on there. It also comes with crispy bacon and tangy pickled onions. I really hope that I'm gonna like the tangy pickled onions I'm kind of worried about those. And it's got some sort of a bistro sauce. I'm not really sure what the bistro sauce is or how it's made, but we're gonna find out today. We have Diet Pepsi. I wish they would give us a choice between Diet Pepsi and Diet Coke. They might find out that people like Diet Coke better. I don't get a choice. Here it comes in our normal Culver's bag. I've got two of them today because guess what? The second one is for my wife because even though you have a wife, you still have to feed her. We're gonna open it up and check it out. You've got your uh, little hamburger diaper. It looks all oily and good and juicy. And I gotta tell you, um, I'm pretty much jaded as far as Culver's goes because I think they're the best. As far as fast food, they are the standard in my opinion. It's obviously freshly cooked, it's oily which is good for me. This is what you get. It comes in its standard hamburger diaper. Let's go ahead and cut it in half so you can take even a better look at it. We have Bessie the Knife is back in action today. Check it out. You'll definitely need your napkins. This is a oily wet sandwich. The good thing is the pretzel bun tends to absorb a lot of that and the sandwich actually doesn't fall apart. Let's go for the Joe bite test. So here is my confession. I'm not expecting a reaction. But if this is how it's gonna be. Diet Pepsi. Where's my Diet Coke? Anyway, let me take one more bite and let's see what we think. I can taste a little bit of the tanginess. I guess it's that bistro sauce. Still not sure what that is. Although it tends to cover up the bacon, even though I can tell the bacon's there, the burgers are great. They seem like they're the regular butter burgers. I can taste the cheese. The cheddar cheese is great. I'm not really sure about the liquid cheese they put on there. It's probably the same stuff. I don't have a problem with the pickled onions. Let me take one out. I'm not sure I'm tasting it or not. Ah, there's a little bit of heat from those pickled onions. Just a very slight amount of heat. And that's what I was tasting, not their bistro sauce. If you're a true greasy hamburger kind of guy like me, I would probably omit those. I think I'm gonna pick the pickled onions off because they're, they're like 
close to overwhelming the sandwich itself and taking away from that good butter burger kind of taste they got there a lot better well I'm going through napkins today like a newborn going through diapers man it's time to render a verdict on this let's give it a numeric number my scoring is from 1 to 10 uh, 1 being gutter scum 9 being the best anything above 9 is food nirvana a lifetime experience that you're gonna remember for decades I'm gonna give this sandwich a 7.8 that's a good score. It may not sound like a good score, but that is a good score. And the reason is, is the pickled onions. I am not a fan of those. They kind of almost overwhelm the sandwich, and I'm not sure why Culver's put them on there. There may be some of you out there that like pickled onions. I don't know, and crave them and come over here. But for me, that's not the case. I'd like to give a shout out to Irving, Christy, Treat that man right, he's got good taste in food. I can tell you that because I know about these things. Heather, if you're still out there watching, I'm still thanking you every day for putting me on the Culver's. They are still maintaining their standards. And that is so important these days. Mm. If you found this video interesting, subscribe. If you found it entertaining, leave a comment. Support the channel. On that note, <clears throat> When I get the goo off my hands, we will see you in the next video. Bessie, you are my darling. Now, how do I clean this car up? I've got crap everywhere.